Hello world, this is Random Fix, and in this video today, I'm going to show you how you can tell if your Honda is ready to pass an emissions test, and the best part is, you don't need any tools for this. So I'm going to show you a before of what it looks like when your car is actually ready. Then I'm going to show you once again on what it looks like when your car is actually not ready for a smog test. And if you guys want more videos on how to do the complete Honda drive cycle, you guys will find that down in the video box below. And also if you're stuck on a particular part of your smog test, let's just say the catalyst and you don't know what to do, you'll find a video for that down in the video box below as well. So let's get started. All right, so we got a Honda here and I'm gonna show you how easy this is. And this is such a cool little trick that I knew about and I didn't share in some of my other videos because there is a lot to talk about. So to do this, what you wanna do is grab your key and this is all you need. With your key in your hand, you're gonna go ahead and put it in the ignition and do not turn the motor on, but you wanna cycle it to where the check engine light turns on. And now pay attention to that check engine light and if everything is the way it's supposed to be, what's gonna end up happening with that check engine light is it's gonna turn off within about uh, 15 to 20 seconds. And we're gonna wait a few more seconds here and you can see my check engine light actually turned off. So this is indicating that all the monitors on this vehicle, the catalyst, the EVAP, the oxygen sensors, everything is ready on this. And now I'm gonna show you what it looks like when the monitors are not ready. All right guys, so I just showed you guys what it looked like when all the monitors are ready. So as we can see, all the monitors here are ready and you're looking for monitors that say incomplete and anything with an NA basically means it doesn't apply. So for this vehicle, the oxygen sensor heater monitoring is ready. It says okay. And again, that was turn the ignition on, wait for it, count to 15 seconds. and your check engine light turns off. So that is when everything is good, 100%. Now, let me show you the other one. And now we can see that certain monitors like the catalyst are actually incomplete. So right there it says incomplete. And if we go ahead and turn the ignition off, Hey guys, really quick, if you're enjoying this video, please make sure you guys give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It really lets me and YouTube know that I'm bringing you guys value content and I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And back on with the motor not running and we wait. We're going to see something else happen here instead. So pay close attention to that check engine light right there. Then what should be happening is if it's not ready, it's gonna blink a total of five times and then turn off. That signifies that the car is not ready to pass an emissions test. The monitors have not set. And one thing I wanted to address in this video really quick is a lot of times I get questions on random fix. If I go ahead and reset my check engine light, will I pass a emissions test? And the, and the answer to that is no. Just because you get rid of the check engine light when the vehicle is on does not mean it's going to pass an emissions test. What you're going to have to do is you're going to go and have to complete a drive cycle, which I'm going to have a video link down below specifically for Hondas. And you could follow it and I go through it step by step on what you need to do. And it covers a wide range of Hondas, Acuras. The last tip I wanted to leave you off with is not every monitor has to be ready. For example, in California, if the vehicle is 2000 and newer, and depending on the smog shop, what can happen is the EVAP monitor is exempt most of the time if the smog station is willing to do it. 
And I really appreciate you guys watching. I would love to hear your feedback. If this helped, please comment down below. And I really, really appreciate any additional feedback or anything else you guys want to throw in to help everybody on the channel have a better experience getting their car ready for the next smog test. Thanks again. And check out the links below if you guys need help with finding an OBD2 scanner or anything else. You'll find those in the description box below.